Hello, everybody, and welcome to another action-packed race here at the GSA Celeste Eighty Percent League. I am FC Racers, the Mario Sixty Four race that we had before, but the action is not going to stop as we've got Fladerby going against Evans Fight here. Two fantastic runners, um, ready to attempt to climb the mountain. So let me just go ahead and give you a quick rundown on just a few stats here as we get ready to start up um for pbs according to speedrun.com fladerby is currently sitting at a 28 11 and evan's fight is at a 30 37 and um i know that evan has been grinding out a lot so has fladerby as well fladerby actually i think a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago excuse me uh he was doing some uh races against tgh and then um, Evan's fight has also been doing this no reset challenge thing. Um, basically, he just did a whole bunch of runs where no reset. Like, no matter what happened. You died in prologue, we're going to just tough it out. You missed Bob's drop five times, mm, we're going to keep going and get these times in. So um, he's been putting a lot of effort into the game. And I'm hoping that it'll showcase here as we get into this race. Now for some standings and some points. Give me one hot second here. So right now, uh, Flo Derby is currently tied with both TGH and Nero at 12 points. And Evan's fight, still waiting to get on the board here. Um, pretty sure he's going to get his moment here soon. I mean, like I said, he has been pushing and grinding this game. So he might come out of the, come out of the woodwork. And with a game like Celeste, anything can happen. I mean, Evans could just come out with a fantastic run. And then uh, Flo Derby could end up getting caught up here. But, uh, you know, we won't know until we actually get into this fantastic race. So, again, as a friendly reminder, this is a total of three races. So, we do have a best of, like, whoever's going to win the set. And uh, But either way, we're going to be playing out all matches. And each race is worth one point. The winner of the set will get an additional bonus points. So, there is four points up for grabs. That these runners are going to be gunning for. All right, so it looks like uh, they are getting set here. A very simple file name today, just a simple hi. Um, again, we we usually do that, or no, we usually we do that because it incorporates uh, no opportunities for people to like splice in footage from another you know from a previous video or anything like that because the following does appear throughout the game and we are off now again got prologue here prologue nothing really too much to write home about here just basically the opportunity to learn basic tech of the game uh we are going to be able to skip our lovely uh cut scene here at the end which was uh introduced shortly after the league started there was a previously there was like a one frame trick where you can actually bypass that and save some time and the developers just opted like you know we'll just make it so you can skip the cutscene as you can see there also we're going to want to pay attention to those in-game timers as this is run the times are based off of that because you know some people's computers have a little longer loading times than others and um the group at Matt Makes Games did a very fantastic job of just tying in that in-game timer to be accurate, no matter how uh, supreme or, you know, how well or pretty much how well your computer runs, I should just say. All right, so we are in City now, flat running into a little bit of issues here. Evan is as well. That was a... Evan, okay, Evan's trying to do something. Something He was trying to... Okay, there we go. Look like a reverse hyper off of that, trying to get set up here. Uh, Flodervi is also having a little bit of hangups here, but... But was able to get back into it here. So again, City just kind of showcases every single trick that we have, or tech, not trick, all the tech that we have in the game. Hypers, wall bounces, corner boosts, ultras, just like that on Evan's screen. Um, just like the whole nine yards. It's a great showcase. And again, the meta right now, we have city and old site right off the bat there really isn't going to be too much of a like noticeable lead change or anything like that it's once we get into the mid game where things will be going full 
Fledge. Okay, we had a nice little transition there. I'm not sure what happened with that, but that's okay. And both runners are now out of city. Yeah, like I said, city and old site. I mean, old site has been um, as the league has been progressing. Old site is getting a little and more more uh, dicey. Most notably during the battle and fight, um, we've seen runners just kind of mess up in um, like the second to last screen of the last screen of the battle and fight. So it's becoming a little more problematic. What does that see? I don't know if it's nerves or just the fact that like you know they just miss input and everything else. Alright, so Fladerby is going to activate the Dream Blocks first. Evan is not too far behind. And this is where, like, we see a lot of cool movement. I mean, in the beginning of the game, or the beginning of Old Sight, you know, it's pretty just kind of like basic getting through. Now we have this cool mechanic where you're able to kind of just fly through these uh, Dream Blocks and have some nice speed. It has a nice sound effect, too. But Flat is getting into the battle and chase. Oh, taking the death on that screen. Just off by a little bit, allowing Evans to s somewhat catch up. He's still behind by a couple seconds. Again, we want to look at that IGT timer versus uh, the actual placement on the game. But so far, both runners are handling this very well. We're about to get to the first screen where um, some hangups have been happening. Flat is on there now. Evans right behind. This section in particular, Flat's going to get away. Evans! having to adjust because he missed the coins that's that's the type of thing that i was talking about um since they're on that three second timer you don't have a lot of room to you know get out of that spot so fantastic effort on evan there as they head into this last one evan running into some issues again oh threading the needle getting through those uh that angry mob of battle ends there and he's out so now they're both gonna be making their way into the awake section here in just one moment now with awake there's really no hazards in the way. I mean, you can retry and uh, take a death there, but the train is very uneven. So runners are going to do their best to just kind of keep Madeline going at a neck-breaking speed here. Flat doing a very good job. Nice ultra there as he gets to the spring room against some more ultras. Going to get a little corner boost there, and he is out. Fantastic time here. Was that a 145? Let me look. Let me see. Let me investigate. Of course, my screen is way too small. <laughs> Hold on. It looks to be a 155. I could be mistaken. Evans is also out too. Looking like at a 155. So we're starting to see that gap slowly form here as we move into resort. Now again, this is where things start picking up. So um, what we got here is you have a much longer chapter, like combined. And then on top of that, we have these dust bunnies here. The uh, residents of Celestial Resort. Basically, these dudes, just like any typical hazard, you know, you run into it, you're going to die. Um, but they are on a cycle. And the way that this works is every time that Madeline is forced to restart a screen uh, off of a death, uh, it's a one and a half second respawn. So that just puts you slightly off cycle with everything. And most runners usually will opt to... Uh, leave the room and come back to have a different cycle or to get back on cycle uh but there are a few screens where that is just not possible most notably in the ashiro fight so runners they might have to have a backup or two just in case uh and in some cases i've seen runners actually opt to do a death cycle because it's easier for them so it's like i'll just take the one and a half second loss and uh go about this in a different manner but we got flad getting into huge mess here now huge mess is a fantastic showcase of movement again you got these narrow crevices and everything mounds just trying to get through that last section is so nice let's see if evans can can follow suit here so you get a wall bounce and then a nice little bunny hop and a wall bounce again nicely done it just looks clean man it's like i guess you know the irony that you're in huge mess and you have clean movement but overall it's one of my favorite sections because it just looks so smooth like when you go about it and then huge mess here again we got three different um rooms or like sections that we have to clean up. We have crates, books, and towels uh, in that order for the most optimal route here. And we choose that because as soon as we get out, Oshiro is very close so we can move to the next section. So now both runners are in books here. This room has, or this section has kind of op been optimized a little more. Uh, we've seen some ultras happen in that room that Evans was in and then just kind of like moving around. Flad's gonna actually to see wall bounce here. Nice. He's gonna get out. 
looking at a 547 overall. And then Evans, again, about less than 20 seconds behind. Again, this is 20 seconds is not a lot of time for a game like Celeste. Uh, again, we have deaths come into play. We have just, you know, you can end up getting caught up on a wall or you can like get corner bop and lose your momentum. Like there's all kinds of things that can happen. And there's just so many screens that like, even for optimal movement to just kind of catch up. All right, we're gonna see Evan here going for a little safer strat here. Wasn't able to get on cycle for that. He's gonna get out and now both are making their way into the elevator shaft, which leads us to one of the first major tricks in the game and that is demo dash now a demo dash is if you press while holding down you perform your dash and in four frames you input another direction and what that gives you is the dash in whatever direction you pushed after those four frames but you're going to maintain madeline's crouching hitbox hold on evans run into a little bit of hang up here missed that key but he's out making a good adjustment there but yeah so there's this uh dust bunny pillar here that flat is at oh he went checkpoint list too let's go so yeah, there's a four pixel um, gap that you can fit through. And uh, Flat made it look very easy here. Actually, Evan's going for it too. Oh, both. Yo, can we get some hype in the chat for two checkpoint list demo dashes? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm, I'm bringing up checkpoint list because it is a two second save, but the risk is like an eight second loss if you fail that part. So, you know, it's up to the runners here how they want to approach it. I've seen, I think Moose, I think so far is the only person, at least from the start, that has gone checkpoint list the entire time. Oh no, Evan's taking a death here in one of these longer rooms. We're seeing uh, Flat had a little bit of a hang up there, had to slow down to make sure he was on cycle, but Flat is in the final screen. And this one has been the bane of a lot of people, especially for casual uh, runners and runners just starting out. It's just so long, there's like a few obstacles you have to get around. It's not an issue for Flan. He's going to get out. Looking at a, oh, a sub eight. Let's go. 416 in that too. That was very clean, very crisp. Evan's fight not far behind here. He's got a few more uh, hurdles to get through. One last jump here and he's out at a 435. So again, not too far away as we head into Golden Ridge. The Golden Ridge here, again, I will... I am an advocate to saying that this is probably uh, one of the more the most technical chapters in the game, screen for screen. Um, you just have like these very intricate tricks in strats just to optimize your movement. Like you're seeing it so fast on Flutter every screen, I can't even keep up. But um, they're just so pinpoint, and like missing them, it's just like okay, it's just like you know half second here, quarter of a second here, a second here. But like it's every single screen has something like that. So it's just like it's easy to rack up uh, time loss without even like dying. You can just have like mishaps left and right. So let's see, Fly's got a spike jump here. He's going to get that first try. I'm going to see Evan's screen here going into the coin room. Ooh, getting the Archie. Okay, that's an, that's kind of new. Basically, you, you, you get out of that green bubble. And, uh, you know, normally you would go straight up and then dash to the right. Uh, if you demo into that bubble and hold up forward uh you actually just miss those spikes and it allows you to keep your dash so instead of short hopping back to the bubble you just dash straight across and it saves uh, a nice little bit of change if you ask me it's a little tough though but still nicely done with him evan's getting ready here he's gonna go for this ultra setup and he's gonna get that now evans actually has been having he was having a little bit of difficulty in one of the races before he just kind of i talked to him about it in the interview and he said, like, he just kind of forgot how to do the room. And um, from personal experience, that is something that can happen. I mean, there's a lot of rooms. Runners have to remember different strats and approaches for each of them. So it's not surprising that it can happen. It's just unfortunate that it happened in a race. But uh, it looks to be not an issue here. He's kind of hanging up here a little bit on this auto-scroller room. While Flat, on the other hand, about to get into Cliff Face here. Uh, cliff Face is a section where... Basically, the wind is coming at you full force, and it's near impossible to just walk forward. So runners have to rely on the dash to keep their momentum and just keep moving forward because you literally are at a standstill if you just start walking. We got this first room. We also have snowballs, too. Um, they are on a cycle, but runners 
you know, they have a way of manipulating them. We're going to see it on flat screen here. Just give this nice little setup so you can actually use that to get an ultra into the next screen. Evans fight now about to get into cliff face as well. Flat about, mm, let's say about two and a half screens out before he's done with this chapter. This is actually a really nice one here. Uh, maybe looking to get a 242? 240. Still, that's very impressive to say the least. Now, Evans in cliff face now trying to take on this section. He's got the second long room here. Oh, not getting his dash back, so he's not going to be on cycle. He's going to have to adjust. Okay. That part is scary because sometimes um, that snowball will just come out when you're at that top and you don't have time to react. But he got a little lucky there. This is getting ready to finish off. And now, flat in Mirror Temple. Now, this is the other big chapter. Um, in the run itself so we actually we're going to be doing two levels in chapter five we're doing 5a and 5b uh we're playing up to 5a until we grab the, the cassette tape which unlocks 5b and then we're going to go and do a full well not a full clear but we're going to through, go through and finish off uh 5b to unlock reflection now the reason we do that is because there's a fan there's a great trick um that was discovered that allows you to skip a huge portion of 5b and uh can save the more higher end runners about 20 seconds and also hold on <clears throat> we got a yeet coming off a of flat screen we can see if ev is going to hit that too that's one of the tricks that uh we also have in chapter five here don't really get a chance to talk about it too much because we really a lot of people like to focus on demo um for yeet i feel that yeet is probably one of the more difficult tricks in the game just because you don't really have like you kind of just have to fling madeline to get that corner boost and you'll see what i'm talking about on evan's screen here um what's nice about it is if you mess it up you don't you can basically break even um it's not too detrimental unless you get like one of the worst launches off that uh dash block whereas in 5b which is where flit derby's at now if you mess up on demo uh excuse me bubs drop um it's a guaranteed 10 second loss like there's nothing you can do about it so on paper Everybody's like, oh, 10 second loss. Oh my, what are we going to do? But like from an execution standpoint, I personally feel that um, Yeet is harder than Bub's Drop. Like Bub's Drop, you kind of just get a feel for it. And you actually can, you know, you can get a setup. It's during the transition here. Like this, look, boom, nice. Flag's going to get that first try. But like with Yeet, you don't really have a visual cue because Madeline is just like going at mock speed towards that corner. And you got to hit that corner boost and just kind of launch yourself into the next screen and hope for the best. And, you know, there's... You can undershoot it, you can miss it entirely, or you can actually overshoot it, and, you know, it's just like, oof. Just too many things can go wrong. But Flad is making his way towards the mirror here. You got these saw blades that are uh, annoying. They're all, these are also on cycle. Um, not a world cycle, just for this screen in particular, but you don't want to take a death because then you have to kind of adjust yourself. But it's not an issue for Flad. Evans is going to get his bubs drop and continue on. So now we're in the mirror on Flad screen. And this part, basically, it's just like if you played the 5 8, you got secrets to deal with here. You're going to have Theo coming up in a little bit. Um, these first couple of screens, pretty optimized. Actually, very optimized, I should say. Uh, you're not going to see too much of a hang up. This screen, in particular, on Flad screen, um, can be a little problematic. Basically, we have to rely on the Seeker's explosion to propel Madeline over that gap um, to save ourselves some time. Again, it's not an issue with Flad. He actually set it up so he can keep his dash to uh, better manipulate that Seeker. But now we're in the Theo section on Flad screen as Evans is getting into the mirror portion. And uh, I was going to mention on Evans screen too, the devs actually made this section a little easier. Uh, you notice those gaps with the dash crystals. Like that last one is really narrow. All those gaps had that narrow... Uh, tunnel i guess uh prior to a patch that we had a few a uh, couple versions ago and what they decided is they made it a little easier to widen it up i think it's i want to say that maybe they included it after people were finding ways to skip uh parts of 5b nice time from flat look at this 222 that's a very respectable time for 5b i unfortunately did not get his tape time but uh I didn't see any glaring mistakes on his end, so he potentially could have gotten a 110 or a 111. But now Evan's making his way through as Flad begins his reflection. Now, he's, Flad is on the Seeker Gauntlet room. This room is not fun. 
as we see. Uh, each room is a very small encased enclosure. You have to hit these switches. These seekers are not playing. And um, things can just kind of go wrong. I mean, we're seeing here, Evan's missing those uh, that switch. He's going to have to clean this. He has to finish this one clean. And he does. Whew, okay. I can take a breath now. <laughs> it's getting a little, little intense there. Now, Evan's just a few screens out. Now, Flat is making his way through. Now, Reflection is... There's nothing overly you know like i mean we have lake skip uh and you have battle and boost there's a couple of the tricks here but i mean overall all the top runners have a very solid reflection i mean like everybody's put a lot of time into this this is probably one of the chapters when you're starting out and learning the game um one of the chapters that you want to tackle especially like if you were to you know if you wanted to start racing people or if there was like another tournament coming up um for newer runners this is the chapter that will cause like problems and this is a chapter that you can use in that race setting to just kind of get ahead i mean it's kind of that happened in the speed gaming tournament um back in july of last year like a lot of people because a lot of people were just basically getting hung up in this particular section so it was a good opportunity to see uh we'd actually see a lot of lead changes and uh some upsets here and there but for the most part for the runners here in the league it's you know it's like super optimized they know exactly what to do they got their tricks down they put a lot of time in this chapter so it's just kind of like sit back and enjoy the ride it also has one of the most iconic sections of the game and of course i'm talking about the battle and fight All right, Flad getting into the ravine portion here. About to step up to the plate here and uh, throw hands with Battlin. Evans getting through hollows. Flad taking these developer intended shortcuts here, making it look so easy. Now the big thing about that one is, if you take a death, you gotta start all the way back at the top. So it's a huge risk. But, you know, we want to save it as much time as we can. Uh, Evans ran into a little bit of hang up here through his hollow portions. But now Flad getting ready for his battle and boost. Showing off the swag. Let's go. Look at that confidence. So another thing about this game, too, that is, like, really dope to me is that you can kind of see the runner's confidence show in Madeline's movement. So we saw there that okay, we're having a little bit of hang up here on... Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with the stream. But Flat is in the battle and fight. Evan's not too far behind. He's about to get into a ravine here himself. And but yeah, this is like one of the more iconic sections uh, of the game. Again, if you don't know the story about it, go pick the game up. Like for real, <laughs> it's it's a fantastic game. Both casually and from a speedrunner's perspective, uh, there's been a lot of people that actually like, myself included, where like we started, we played the game casually, and you know started to check out some speedruns here and there, or got word of mouth about some of the the top runners, and like immediately we're just like pulled in and was like, yeah, I can do this. This looks like a lot of fun. So, and the game is designed to really push for you to try to um, be about trying to beat the game quicker. And I am actually joined now by the one and only Troy of Athens. How's it going? Going good. Thank you for joining me here. We are just yeah. in the middle of the battle and fight. Yeah, a bit towards the end of the first uh, of the first race here, but it's still, you know, I still got a good portion to see. We definitely do. And um, I, I know I mentioned PBs from both runners at the top of the race. I'm not sure where we're sitting at right now. I don't believe that Flat is on PV pace right now. He get, It's kind of close. I know his summits have been very quote unquote short. Um, so he might be able to pull something together. But basically, as long as he doesn't need to get a sub eight, uh, there's always the opportunity for him to pull one off. 
Yeah, Flad holds the unofficial uh, IL record for summon. I say unofficial because he never submits an IL for it, but he does have like an 808, 809, somewhere around there. Yeah, that's nuts. Because I... I mean, I think on, on average, we're seeing, definitely seeing a lot of people with sub eights, but it's also like low nine minute too. So to be that low is uncanny. All right, and Flat is now out of the battle and fight. Evan's about to get started on round two here. But yeah, it looks like, mm, yeah, I think, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Flat's current PV, if I remember correctly, is a 28-11, so... He, that is, yeah, that, that is right. He's, yeah, he's in striking distance. I mean, he'd have to get an eight, eight seventeen or less to, uh, wait. No, is it eight seventeen or is it nine seventeen? Hold on. <laughs> I think he's in striking distance for a PB here. We'll have to wait and see. And also, Flat Summit too. It's crazy. He's really, really strong at this chapter. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, eight, it's eight seventeen. Okay, sorry, I'm bad at math, you guys. <laughs> it's a... well, I got not necessarily bad at math, but trying to do math in time, it, I always get caught up. I'm just like, eh, how's this work? Yeah, quick now math. Now we got Let's see Evans here at the tail end, going for this fast cycle here. So far, so good. Getting that old. Okay, he's out too. Um. He might be on PB pace too. We'll have to wait and see also. Uh, both like Evans has been doing a fantastic job. Just kind of keep pace with uh with Flad here. Like you know, the, the time difference between both runners is very significant, which is going to happen in a league setting, but like Evans has been putting up a fantastic fight. I haven't seen really a lot of uh, errors or any mishaps on his screen. He's gonna clock out of reflection at 2134. And his PB is a 3037 so eh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one but we'll have to wait and see in the meantime flat is uh, he's already halfway through 500 he's almost done with 500 folks I, this is what i was talking about this guy is okay yeah hold on <laughs> because he is like about to get to battle in here in five and one in 500 at 122 jeez that is crazy like to put that in perspective for my time, I'm usually at there at Battle and at that point at like 135 ish, I think, maybe even 140 to be safe. So Flat is barreling through this section. And if you want to go by my perspective, I'd still be in Chapter 5 probably. <laughs> Actually, you PB'd recently too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was, it was sometime uh, last week, uh, but I, I am, I'm taking a break from it from right now because I'm actually you know, I'm trying to get a good submission for pace for a different game. Yeah, I need to work on that too. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about what I want to submit for pace. Um, I'm thinking of doing invis invisible percent for Celeste because I'm that, not going to run 80%. Gonna be, that would... That's hilarious. Yeah, uh, if you're wondering, uh, uh, invisible percent, which is not actually a category on speedrun.com. <clears throat> hello. Uh, basically, you should get on the, the expanded boards. <laughs> it should. We have well, we have we have mirrored, and um, but there's an option in variants where as long as Madeline has is moving, she can't be seen on screen, and that includes like falling, being on zippers anything that like as long as she's in motion she can't be seen so i've been low-key running that not on stream uh just kind of practicing and i would Sounds like to hilarious. submit it it's pretty uh, fun yeah um meanwhile flag just went through 1500 meters with no problem whatsoever there was no oh. hiccup at all he oh my god he's 305 305 coming out of 1500 wait a minute <laughs> that is yeah yeah <laughs> hold on that's crazy <laughs> excuse me while i pick my jaw up off the floor because i am in awe right now he is barreling through this section yeah and flad now, is at the top of his game right now he is he is um ready to fight right now <laughs> he is also you know you know maybe this is partly due to the fact that um 
TGH hit sub 28 earlier this week. Right, so, and that has been a goal for Flat for so long. I know. Uh, this, this auto scroller skip skip is being really annoying right now. Pretty much since um, pretty much since the cutscene skip for Prologue came in, he was like every, everyone he run. He's like, I'm shooting for 27. <laughs> And he, I, I know that he will get there. Like that's that's a guaranteed. It's just a, a win. There's not an if there. But he has ground through again. Having some hangups there on the auto scroller skip skip, which is somewhat new. It was recently found. Uh, people are still trying to work the kinks out of it. I think a lot of people. Um, I know Sushi's going for it. Uh, TGH was practicing for it, but in the world record that he had, he actually did not go for it. So. He still has an op there's still opportunity there but you know this is a huge risk and it's so new it's like do you want to go for it i mean flat being you know the fantastic runner he is he's like i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna make this happen but still like it's this time is nuts is he about to finish and get to 3000 at sub six minutes because if he is i don't i won't even know how to react to that because i'm i'm used to just getting in like at oh, a little over six Actually, yeah, he's already halfway through. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be curious about. It, it just ticked off to five minutes now for the IL, um, but I am curious about what these splits are gonna be at the end. Like if if Flat would be so generous as to you know link those to you know just send those in the Discord to us, that'd be great. Because this is looking pretty hot, pretty hot. Yeah, I mean, minus the auto score skip, this has been basically flawless from flat screen. Oh, we Evan's out, right? Yeah, taking the death in this, in this auto scroller. This one not doesn't take a lot of trouble for a lot of the top level players. I know myself actually, I die in that screen almost all the time, and it's a problem because it's, it's an auto scroller, and you don't want that. Yeah, I have I hate that screen when I'm doing ARB because they have that berry off on the right, and it's. Probably one of the most annoying ones to get. Evans having to take his dash to get up there, save, losing a little bit of time. But on the other side, Flat is now on 28. He got to 28 at 6:01. Like, hello? <laughs> what? It's so crazy. And like to put it in perspective here, like you know, I think Evans is gonna get out of. 2500 at around the same time so jeez it's just crazy like flat summit is so strong nice move in here and he's already out of down drive getting into the up draft all right Evans getting his key skip he's gonna make his way through flat on up draft here Getting ready for the devious flags 14 and 13. Um, these have, for updraft in particular, 14, 13, and 9 are like the major troublemakers that we have. Uh, I would probably say followed up by 7. 7 has just been um, a diva on occasion. Sometimes, it you know, the strats that they have work and sometimes they're just like, eh, not really, not really going to let you get these skips here. But flat moving along, very crispy. Getting to flag 10. As Evans is now getting into his 3000 here. Again, like he got into 3000 at 624. So he's going to get to flag 28 here, about 30 ish seconds off, which is still very impressive. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I went at FK for a bit. I, I want, you know, I need to make some popcorn here, clearly. <laughs> I mean, like, I honestly, I wasn't saying much, but like, really, if I should go get some popcorn, because look at this, ri look at this run right now that Flat's having. Like, this is, this is, this could have PB'd in, in another world. This is, I think, just barely off of a PB. It's not gonna happen, unfortunately, but it, it's so close. Yeah, I mean, uh, was it two, two deaths on auto scroll or skip skip? Yeah, and I'm yeah, sure I mean... that, that that's definitely in his mind right now. I'm sure. And like prospective flat to be able to continue on and keep and actually get the finish here, but yeah, it's looking to be a 28 13. Uh, yeah, 28 15. Let's go 15. 
I'm wrong again. Cool. 2016. Wow, that flag won though. Oh my gosh. Now, yeah, I know that auto score skip. Uh, I I believe. I want to say that if he, if he would have got it first try, or if he opted to do the traditional strat, um, that PB was was his. I still respect the play of going for auto score skip, because like, I feel that if he would have got auto score skip first time and then just kind of kept it real clean, he, you know, I think that sub twenty eight would have happened. I mean, look at this. He had uh, four. Yeah, I'm going in. A, I'm going in a full screen to see these times here. I mean, I know these are not quite the actual ILs because these include like the cutscenes and stuff, but like still pretty hot. Yeah, and you know, early game he he had a little bit of mishaps in the city, which you know, it's gonna happen. But I think he's gonna clean it up. I think that, um, getting the you know, Flad is going to he takes nice breaks in between um to rest his hands up which is makes perfect sense i mean he plays on keyboard so i can only imagine like how much how tense his hands are during this time period so it's you know gonna take a little bit little breather here but um this is something that we're gonna want to really pay attention to as we get into race number two because that is a hot time and again evan's not far behind here yeah and i want to point out this is actually um i'm looking at the statistics for this and this is gonna this is looking to be probably evan's fight's fastest time yeah and he's not far off from his pb his pb right now yeah, on speedrun.com is 3037 yeah fastest time um in the race like in in any of the races yeah like he just had a few hangups here and there too You know, so this is right around his average, so. Hey, he's still ph phenomenal effort here on Evan's side. I'm seeing people in chat already saying next run is the 27. Um, I want it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Troy would like yeah. to see that as well absolutely would want it i i mean you know what i actually am gonna go get that popcorn hold on a second <laughs> <laughs> all right well you while you warm that up we're gonna go ahead and talk about pace here so we troy and i kind of mentioned it a little bit um basically pace is the fin will be the finale for a lot of the games running here on gsa's league um it's going to be taking place from april 25th through the 28th tickets are on sale it's going to be happening at Xanadu Games over in uh, Maryland. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, my geography is super bad. Well, we're going to have Odyssey, any percent, Super Mario 64, 70 Star Division 1, and Celeste, any percent, Grand Finals all across the board there. In addition to that, we're going to be doing a showcase of runs and races. So if you want to get in the mix, you... um want to settle some beef with somebody in a, in a speed run game not even beef you just want to have a nice friendly race with somebody uh we got the submission form up and running so definitely check it out um you can pull up that information in chat by doing exclamation point pace or exclamation point i think ticket is the other one so definitely check it out i am super excited for it i will be taking care of my flight and everything here in a short moment but um I'm definitely pushing to make an appearance there, and I hope to see a lot of you there too. I'd love to meet you guys in person. All right, so I think Flat is taking just a slight breather here, which is, like I said, I, I respect the move. He's trying to get in again. Like he had those like uh, mishaps in the auto scroller skip. In fact, I'm looking, I'm seeing three deaths total, with one of them being key skip, and then so yeah. The auto score skip was the only section where he had those two hangups. Otherwise, other than that, his summit was completely flawless. And then just, you know, some some minor bumps in city and in old site. So if he can keep this up, we definitely could be in for a nice surprise here. So give him that the time needed. And then Evans too on a good pace as well. 
but also let me go ahead and throw check the schedule because you know this is not the end of the runs here at gsa by any means we are action-packed all day long let me just find it here real quick all right so let me see what we got on the table here And I am going to immediately, <laughs> I'm going to apologize in advance because I will probably mess up on these names. So I apologize for my lack of knowledge. But uh, after this Celeste race, we are going to be having a uh, Super Mario 64 70 star run between Punkishun and D whatever. And after that, we're also going to have a 70 star league match between BES Paracusia versus BES Rock Chalk 19. Oh man, we got the little camaraderie here. And then we're going to be closing out the night with the fantastic Mario Kart Double Dash. We got Toast, Toast Rider 91 versus Rick Pick. Again, if I apologize, if I am slaughtering your guys' names, I apologize. My bad. But um, all these are going to be super exciting. Mario Kart Double Dash. I'm not gonna lie, I was naive <laughs> about. I was like, I mean, you know, it's a racing game. Can't, you know, it can't be that hype. Now I watched some of those. Y'all, you need to, <laughs> you need to check that out because it is super hype. But that's gonna close out the night. And then you know, if you're itching for more Celeste action, we're actually gonna be back tomorrow with a. Oh, this is gonna be a good one for tomorrow uh, to kick things off. At 2 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to have Scrub Lord 701 going against Moose SR here for Celeste. So that is about to be fantastic race. Both runners are very, very good. Their times are kind of close. Uh, and we're just going to get ready for some more crazy action. All right, so we're about to get underway here with race number two. Again, Flad coming off a very smooth time. Also, Evans as well. Like, overall, both runners played except I, they played pretty well there was just you know flat had a little bit of hang-ups in the first part of the game was sitting in an old site but like once he hit awake um it was just smooth sailing for the rest of the game and then evans also you know he started out very strong had a little bit of hang-ups in summit i saw some mishaps in auto scroller but um these are things that like they're not things that are like i have trouble with these sections it's just like okay a mishap's gonna happen like i said it's celeste 600 plus screens trying to run this as flawless as possible i mean like it's it's near impossible it's near impossible to get away with a with a death without taking a death excuse me okay i'm back with the popcorn oh, i sweet. legitimately made popcorn are you just in time because race two is now underway and we are back in city do not mess around also real quick shout outs to overworld yt with the raid thank you so much and shout out to FC Racer for holding it down while I got that popcorn. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I, do, I do the best that I can. Actually, you know, I gotta, gonna, uh, I gotta commit to the bit. I'm sorry. I gotta no, no, commit I to the bit. No, I don't. I'm actually, you know, I'm low key jealous that you got some popcorn because that sounds like a fantastic idea. But I, actually, I'm gonna go grab myself some water. So okay, Troy, cool. I'm gonna pass it off to you here for a bit. Yeah, I'll handle it. You, yeah, you, you handled it before. I'll handle it now. You know, just finishing out here with the with chapter one both of them doing pretty well here with with the pace okay i'll stop chewing popcorn on the mic i promise that that was just a one-time thing but yeah so finishing it out here flat just a little bit ahead actually oh messing it up there and Evans fight actually going to be the first one to finish here. So Evans fight appearing to be, yeah, they're actually just like really, really close. I can't, I can't even put it. Yeah, good for Evans, but I'm able to keep up with the flat right now.
Yeah, there's really just like a second difference between these two players right now. And what's not... And come on, let's not meme on Flad right now. He is doing very well. He made one mistake. We're totally fine. Losing like five seconds on like, on like his best, on like his best chapter ones or like, like five to ten seconds. Like it's he's still fine. Flag gonna be first one out of out of chapter two. Gonna be starting up the awake section. Yeah, it's looking to be a 130, 13x over here. Oh, 14x. I can't read numbers. Was that a 14 on the 140 on the dot? I think it was. Flat accidentally taking a quick death there. Hit retry instead of skip cutscene. It happens. Alright, I'm back. Fully refreshed and ready to rock. What have I missed? Anything? Nothing too bad. I'm, it was really close at the beginning of chapter two, but Flat definitely has been able to pull ahead by a little bit here. Okay. I see that we are approaching huge mess here. Evans haven't. I saw a, a little bit of a hang up, but you know, it's resort. It's guaranteed to happen. Alright, Flat. I'm about to get in a huge mess. I. Oh no, Flad getting Oh no, twice. Oh. Wow. That's I don't even understand. Unfortunate. That second try too. I don't even He looked like he was in the cutscene. Like I understand. That, like he looked yeah. like he was in the right spot for the cutscene trigger. It was that's Yeah, that, well, as a, a little questionable on the games in. Um I know that I have been guilty of doing that as well. I think it's just really you're trying to um, just kind of hurry along. I mean, especially if you you you. I've noticed if runners start like having mishaps here and there, they, they try to find the smallest opportunity to save time and get back into the swing of things. So unfortunately, um, just time lost there. He's gonna have to shake it off as he starts moving through huge mess here in the books portion. And again, yeah. Evans not too far. This, the gameplay from Vlad right now is just everything about like he wants this like oh yeah he he like i was saying ready to fight he's also thirsty right now like he wants this yeah and you know and you can as i, I mentioned this a little bit in race one but it's just like you can kind of just see the movement behind madeline like you can just like okay he's 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 out here and ready to gun for it i mean like, like look at that just you can, it's like, and I don't know, it's, I keep saying you can see the runner's confidence behind the way that they are, you, uh, their movement is with Madeline. As weird as that sounds? No, it's not weird at all. I, I know exactly what you mean. I see it all the time, and, and it seems like he's very focused right now. Any sort of death that happens, that, like that just happened on the last screen, it's not phasing him. He's not waiting at all when, after the death. He just goes right into it, and right into the next, uh, right into the next try for that screen, and it just keeps moving. Yeah, just keeping going, not losing a sense of focus whatsoever, and also not opting to, to like slow down either. Because usually you'll see runners kind of like hesitate, 
and just take a you know just take a second before they move on to the next room or they'll tap down a lot they show like frustration so it's so the little nuances that play a big uh, factor in trying to do these races <gasps> oh no Flyed missing demo Evan's going for oh no both runners missing the checkpoint here yeah, Flad went checkpointless two times in a row. So even though he missed it that first time, he still went for a checkpointless after that second try. So and, and it paid off for that second try. But it, it's that is really risky being like, oh, I'm I'm not feeling it. I'm not able to get it on the first try. I don't care. I'm still going for checkpointless. Mhm. Mm and then we saw Evans actually grab the checkpoint. He's just playing a little safe. So I respect both plays. Again, it's just how you want to approach it, and like you know what you prefer. Again, it, it, it's a way to get confidence back, too. It's like, no, I can do this. Let me just go ahead and do this and, you know, be like, that was just a fluke. We'll get in the next race. It's fine. Because it's easy to get caught up on that nonsense. It's like, oh, my gosh, I messed this up. I'm going to mess it up again. And you just really get in your head. So that's a nice way to just be like, you know what? We had a little mishap. It's cool. We can get back to it. And we're going to get to it next game. Yeah, and I want to clarify right there. Flad did actually wait a little bit after his death, but I honestly think that was just to get in the right cycle. Like, yeah. he was not, that was not even because he was, like, getting himself composed. He was actually just waiting for the right timing. So he, you know, his head, his head was still in it even after that recovery from that death. Like, even after that respawn, he was, like, still thinking about, okay, what do I do now? Now that I died, what do I have to do? Mm hmm. And particularly on that screen, too, it's just like, it's this a change in the cycles even just waiting because you don't even have the same momentum coming into that screen because you know you've, you've taken a death uh it causes a lot of problems and i think it's one of the one of the few screens where runners like need to have a backup so that they can just kind of go about it in case something bad happens but like right now we have evans in resort first but it looks like that flat is still ahead on igt uh we're I don't think we need to do a sync at any point right now. I would like, I personally would like to wait until we actually get into a uh, summit before we get that going if needed. Right. When it was like really, you know, like that one game I was commentating yesterday, it got really close in chapter six and that's why I asked for it. Like you saw, and you saw the sync that I met and ended up happening. Like, yeah, it was needed at that point, but here we do have a bit of distance between the two players. So yeah, of course, just take it, take it. And we'll, if we need it at summit, we'll need it then. Yeah, and of course, we'll always provide timestamps on uh, where the runners are at. For example, Evans fight grabbing this auto block at 9.23, and then Flad getting it at 9.10. So we're about 13 seconds apart here. Actually, you know, it's crazy because we're talking about how Evans was a little bit ahead, and like now Flad is almost like toe-to-toe -to -toe with him <laughs> in that short amount of time. <laughs> it's like Flad can hear us. We're talking about, oh, we're not gonna, gonna we're not going to really do a sync, and Flad's like, oh, you want to sync? Hold on. Let me catch up real quick. Yeah, he was doing some crazy strategies on those first few screens of Chapter 4. I don't know if you noticed, but there was like a corner boost that happened I didn't even know was possible. I was like, that's a screen you can corner boost on to just skip? Hey, what? Yeah, and then we had a, he did that reverse hyper strat um, in that two green bubble room. Look at this. Throw the sinks. Throw the sinks everywhere, folks. Let's it's kind of dangerous. Call a plumber. Yeah. All right, they're both about to get in the cliff face, but again, we're looking at about a 16 second difference between both runners here as they move into cliff face. Now, let's see, you know, again, optimal movement is going to allow, and we're already seeing it on flat screen. Flat is slowly, slowly pulling ahead in bit by bit. In the RTA, in, like, rather. <laughs> Yeah, because he but, is still um, the timer wise. He is actually a good third, like 15 seconds ahead just timer wise. So with that in mind, it, it's looking to be about a 20 second difference. Yeah, we've seen Evans run to a little bit of hang up in that first snowball room, too. So it's going to ex be extended a little further here as flat is already on the final screen of cliff face. Wow, that was amazing. Now. Evans right behind him. Flat He's gonna get a clock two. Game. That's a two three eight, I think. I think yeah, that's what the, that's at. And now Evans actually clocking in. It looks to be a two fifty one. No, two fifty. He got there faster than I thought. 
Always with the one seconds, FC. Always with the so one that actually yeah, that actually said two three eight. Am I am I going crazy? No, it was a two thirty eight. Well, I am going crazy because that is an insane time for chapter four. Yeah. All right, now we are in Mirror Temple again. I, unfortunately, I didn't check Flat's time on his tape grab. I know his 5B was a 222, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's we'll see here. I don't know. I know that T just gotten a 109 tape grab in League. So, it's definitely doable. But ideally, runners are going to want a 110 to 113 for tape grab. It's like a really, really excellent time. All right, no, Flag's getting set up here for the yeet. Let's go. Yeet. Evans, you get that? Can you get a double yeet? Oh no. Uh, you know why we didn't? You know why it didn't happen? I didn't ask for. I need to ask for a double yeet with cheese. And then yeah. it'll happen. And then you gotta you gotta say please. Come on. I mean, do I have to say please? What if I sound really nice? Like, can I get a double yeet with cheese? What if I did it like that? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What are we getting here? Right. That was like a... I'm not sure exactly what it was. It was pretty close to a 109. That could have been 109. Yeah, I missed it. I was busy watching Evan's tape grab. Which is still pretty good. Pretty solid here. He's going to get a 116. All right, now flat in 5B. Now again, bub drop. I don't know. I feel like the... Okay. I apologize in advance because of what I'm about to say. But I feel like that bubs drop is becoming less and less of an issue the further along we get into the league. So we're going to see if things can pan out here. And then, you know, there's still optimal optimization here. Like Chai does a, a corner boost off of that uh, first dash block. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I had to take a breath there just in case. Evans on deck now too. I think Evans might even go for it. Yep, there it is. Oh, okay, sweet. But yeah, like there's there's still optimization in these little places. Like, you know, going back to both Plaid and TGH's um, times in particular, there's just small things that, you know, they can just, that they haven't incorporated in their run that ideally can save time. Like case in point, that corner boost off that dash block, you know, just saving a little bit of time there, but it kind of changes the entire approach to the rest of the room. Oh no, Evan's getting a little bit of ahead himself here in this uh, saw blade room. But uh, Flad on in the mirror. Yeah, this this the composure from Flad right now is what? <laughs> hey, Flad, you can't be doing that when trying to drink water. What was that? What? Uh, what was that? Uh, <laughs> Flad. He was, he was like, he, I am not wait. He's like, I'm not waiting for you to cool down. I'm not waiting for you to recharge Seeker and get that. Cause that Seeker's AOE definitely would have picked up that coin. But he's like, no, I am saving that little bit of like fraction of a second by going back for it and then going in. <laughs> Flat, Flat is out here trying to kill me, man. I was drinking water trying to get, you know, just, you know, trying to hydrate myself. I almost like just spit that all over my laptop and everywhere else that was nuts i was like for real I need a clip of that flag coming through with the showstopper moves i respect all of that <laughs> i was not ready i was not ready folks and just like that flat is about to be out he's just got his tape crap to deal with and yeah i mean actually it does seem like in chat people are confirming that was a 109 nice uh tape grab and we are looking at that was yeah Getting the one death and five B. Oh, Evans oh, tried having Evans. the retry. Didn't quite, wasn't quite able to throw Theo. Yeah, he like, I think he threw him too early because he threw him to his death instead of throwing him to safety. But you know, I mean, Madeline has to deal with Theo a lot. So I, I don't, you know, she's like, I mean, you know honest, I honestly, like, I, I don't know what Theo is thinking inside this inside this little cage. He's like, what? the heck are you doing throw me around like all this like in some of these screens it's necessary but like in that screen where evan's messed up we're like skipping a couple of things and and theo must be like what the heck are you doing oh my god I, i'm gonna oh, die no. yeah just like right there too oh no oh no 
Oh no, Evan's running into some hangups here in the tape room. It's gonna further extend Flad's lead here. There he goes. Gets his bearings. Slash waiting for the cycle. That tape room, it is so easy to try to rush it. And unfortunately, because it is on a, an actual cycle, you have to wait. You don't want to try to be like, I can beat this cycle, it'll be fine. No. You have to wait for that right time and get set up again, or else you're just going to keep dying over and over again. And Flad, I, like, he had so much momentum there, and he was so close to that spike. He's still put it in, he's still inputted for an ultra during, like, midair ultra in there. He, despite being so fast, despite, I was like, you're going to hit spikes if you do that, and he didn't. <laughs> he was like, I know my, I know my Madeline. I know how this is going to work. He's been just overall movement and everything has just been fantastic on Flad's end. Right now, Evans, pretty sure he got Lake Skip because he's already like blaring through Lake. <laughs> he's a couple screens before he gets into hollows here. And again, Lake Skip is one of those uh, tricks too that's like it's just kind of, kind of becoming more and more consistent as we move along in the league. All right, Flad out on top right here. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm curious how well he does here. That is looking. That was perfect. What the corner boost to? Woo! That was a that was a textbook top route. I right, know Evan's getting through his section now too. Uh oh. I think Flat took a little bit of a bonk there. He's gonna have to adjust just a little bit, but able to get away. Yeah, good adjustment there. Right now, flat in ravine. Again, we got the developer intended shortcuts here. Um, they were not an issue for flat the first time around. We're gonna see how this happens on the second run here. Yep, taking the fast falls. Even on the part where you have to readjust during the fall through it, he was still fast falling. All right, flat getting ready for. Oh, getting a little hang up there. Yeah, I think His he was going for. I think he was trying to go for a corner boost there. What is that strategy? <laughs> just, just a little showing off there, Madeline doing, doing a little bit of dancing, you know. All right, and he is in there. Nice battle and boost. I, I'm hoping that somebody clipped that, that seeker impatient. <laughs> impatient Madeline moment that we had because yeah, I didn't want to recap and see that again. If not, I will I will go and clip it myself. Cause that man, that's like, well, that, I mean that that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy uh, commentating like for the league because all the runners like they like to throw uh, just a little bit of excitement in. Cause you know I mean like, I'm, I'm I'm familiar with the run. You're familiar with the run. We kind of know what's expected. So for them to throw in those um, the surprise and delight moments, it's, yeah, a, it's a nice treat. Yeah, absolutely. That, that was that is something that his I haven't seen that at all. Like I don't think I've ever seen someone do that. Like specific. Like that is yeah. Just like I'm gonna do this, and he didn't have a dash either. He had no backup, so he had to commit for the seeker explosion. Yeah, he had to time uh, it for the seeker explosion to do that and get you the dash. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like. A really gutsy move, but uh, I respect it. So hopefully he won't have to do that again in race three. We'll see. But now Evan's yeah. getting ready for battle and boost. Yeah, ideally you're want you're looking for that seeker to uh, ricochet into that button before even going into that recharge state. Yeah. And I know Nero's uh, Nero's strat for that actually seems to be the most consistent. Where. He enters the room and does a straight wall bounce off of it, off the wall. Most runners will like dash uh, up forward towards the wall and then bounce off. But I've seen Nero's um, strat be very consistent to line that secret up to where he wants him to be. Uh, to the point that I've actually incorporated that into my own run and uh, have had a lot of uh, good results with it. All right, now Evans ran, ran into a little bit of hang up here. Yeah, he's definitely had some little bit of tripping, uh, tripping here and there. And now flat on the second to last screen, getting that reverse hyper there, saving, uh, I believe, Punchy mentioned three frames at a uh, AGDQ when he brought it up. I always thought it was like a super time save. And then when he mentioned how many frames it was, I was like, mm, I'm probably not going to go for that because I would mess it up. I can save those frames somewhere else. 
<laughs> but Flat is out just as quick as that. Um, a little bit behind from his time in race one, but that is okay. This is still a very respectable time for the league. I'm going to say he's going to come in at sub 2020. Let's hope I'm right. And I hope it's not 2021 because I'll be upset. You're looking fine right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little scared. Could have, there could have been menu issues. You know, we never know. All right, now Evan's getting into round two with battle in here. And again, this is another one of those rooms. There's so many rooms in Celeste where there's like no hazards in play, but the terrain is so uneven. So you have to be mindful about where you are and just try to be as optimal as you can during those sections. All right, now Flat entering Summit. Again, his Summit was crazy the first time around. So we're going to see how he goes here. He only had one glaring mishap and that was auto scroller skip but other than that it was just perfect it was fantastic to watch poetry in motion folks so you're in for a treat yet again i mean i'm already seeing it right now there, there aren't a lot of highly technical parts in these sections yet but it's still just just a little bit of like how fluid his mom his movement is right now Mhm. Mm it's like you don't need to there's no hesitation in flad's movement there's not this thing this is actually something that um uh ben Teasy, uh talked to me about in for one of my for my runs uh he kind of was mentioning about like hesitation where like you see what madeline is doing and then based off of what happens you react accordingly oh yeah oh that was that was so gutsy yeah what was that That was a cool he was going for a corner boost off of that Oh, I'm pretty. My. Yeah, I think so. Cause I don't. The normal strat is not that. So, I think he's trying to get. He's he's just like, let me take the brakes off this car real quick, and we're just gonna go. We're gonna go, go, go. But yeah, as I was mentioning, um, you you know, like a lot of, especially when starting out or trying to learn something, you kind of you do the move, you see where you're at, and then you go with the next step, wash, rinse, repeat, right? Uh, for the higher run end runners here, like that is thrown out the door. Instead of it going like one dash or one jump at a time, it is like, and not even screen at a time. It's just like sections. It's like, okay, you're going to do this. Is, you know, like, I guess like Flad and a bunch of the runners in the league, they're not looking at these as a screen to screen like movement. It's like complete pieces. Like, I guess like a, almost like a, a symphony of sort, you know, like this is like, I'm doing this entirely for 1000. Like, you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? No, absolutely. It's all about like, you know, there's enough muscle memory going in here. And I'm just, meanwhile, I'm looking to see if, has he landed? Yes, he basically landed every Dream Hyper. <laughs> yeah, he's he's going pretty good here. Yeah, that was another one. There, yep, nice. they're all there. Every, everyone is here with the Dream Hypers. And now flat into 1500. Now, when he was at 1500 last time, I didn't even see it. <laughs> he was in and out of this one so fast. I was just like, okay, you're already done. What? what? <laughs> How did you do that? How did you do that, Flat? I need to know, because that was crazy. Usually, there's a hesitation in that coin block room. He just barreled through, like, before the, the Dust Bunnies even had a chance to do anything. Oh, my gosh. Flat is on some magic right now. Holy Toledo. And now Evans too getting in on 1,000. Yeah, um, and people are asking in the chat of what is the uh, race record here, like what is the league record on streams? And actually, yeah, it is a 2811.7 by TGH. Um, so he has actually managed to tie <laughs> um, Flad's PBs during this. So you know, that's another thing of pride right now that Flad's probably riding on. Yeah, I just realized that it might be to the frame <laughs> for that time. Because in Flats PB is 0.755, so I feel like that could have been the time that Teach got in the race for the league. It's definitely a possibility. I mean, you, you know, we're both parts of... Oh, damn! That auto scroller skip is just catching him off guard. Okay. Getting a second try, though. Let's go. Yeah, it looks fine on the second try. It's tough. It's really hard. I've tried to be like, oh, this can't be that hard. You know, I've seen the video. It's cool. No, there's just a little. It's a little tight 
to, to, to get in there like that that you don't have a lot of room to land and then even then you're just like well did i get it and then you want to set yourself up for the next section too so like to do that part flawlessly i mean like i guarantee by the time we get to the playoff portion that is going to be not a factor like the people they're the runners are just going to have that down probably even sooner than that i would even say uh with some of the runners we'll see we'll see that happening without a hitch next week but like overall i think everybody will have that part of their plan once they get to um uh near closer to playoffs okay and we got uh flat over here starting up 2500 while evan's fight is in the start of 2000 meters So yeah, this is a, a definite lead for Vlad, and not looking to be ta uh, taken at any time soon. But I do definitely want to keep a fo you know, like, Evan's still playing very well, so I don't want to ignore him fully. Yeah, he's having fantastic movement here in the snowball room. One of the more trickier rooms, and then Evan's opting to not go for auto scroll skip. Respect the move. Oh, I spoke too soon. Commentator Chris, can you um, go somewhere, please? Thanks. Took uh, took a death on threading the needle, but it was just fine on the door skip. I know. And I'm, Evans, yeah. I believe we are still a bit behind of last run on this uh, 3,000 meters. Yeah, not by too much. I think he's going to get into 28 at... Uh, I'm going to go with 604. Yeah, this is definitely looking to be a... Oh, hold on. 28XX. Oh, okay, no, he actually got into around the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's roughly the same time, like... It, but it definitely is, yeah, this is another 28XX. It is um, looking very close to his PB, but, you know, it, it pro I, I'm hoping something can happen. It can definitely it is definitely a possibility that can be pulled out, but it doesn't look too long. I mean, Flag could just pull out some new tech out of nowhere and be like, oh, okay. Like, we're already, we already saw it earlier, <laughs> so... You know, it, it's still in the air. Anything is possible. So he's on fantastic pace here. Kevin, or Kevin, hello. Evan, <laughs> getting his uh, key skip there. Getting ready to finish off 2,500 here. He's just got late, or, wow, I'm messing up all the words. Not lake skip, folks. Door skip, hello. Oh, what? That, what? <laughs> Evan's having a little bit of hang up in the third needle room. And with door skip two, getting the first one. Oh no! Mm. Mm. Now see if that was it. Okay, I'm I'm, gonna point, I'm just gonna put this out there. If that was a demo, he would have cleared that. But third try is the charm. He's gonna keep going. That is one of the man. It, as a runner myself, messing up on door skip is annoying. Absolutely. <laughs> like it's it's annoying more than anything else. It's not like. Because it, it just seems so simple. Like, once you've been able to comfortably get it enough times, you're just like, this is actually really simple and really easy. And then you mess it up, and you're like, how? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just like, I do this all the time. And now I'm just like, it's not happening. Hello. All right, but we got Flag getting into Flag number five. Again, this is definitely yeah, yeah. going to be a 28. And yeah. Just we just his... passed by the PB and also the best race time. So obviously not happening today still pretty or close. at least this race could still happen today oh yeah we are we are far from over we got one more yeah this is looking to be um high 30s maybe in the 40s yeah i mean especially flag one it's crazy too because flag one has like recently just been optimized as well people they're well, going a lot faster well, <laughs> than before. people are taking that risk and yeah we got a 28 44 there all right flight is going to take the set here but we got one more race folks don't go anywhere and also we have evans now in the updraft portion here uh still on a solid pace here it's not on any i don't think pv is uh possible 
but his current best time in the league is a 31.05 and um I don't know it'll be a little close he might be able to get it if he can if he can keep this one clean and honest until the end because like the last section it's usually about 40 like uh, 40 to 50 seconds to clear so it's gonna be it's gonna be close I'm just waiting for like more demo dash just like chapter three to appear <laughs> I feel like that there is opportunity in summit for you can probably try to squeeze one of those and just kind of like demo through some of these spikes oh no mm. flag nine coming um, out in full force well i mean if you want to look to see where the next demos are going to be like just, just go watch the task run of this stuff because that's where they are and that's really why like yeah. if we're going to see more demos it's going to be as soon as someone starts attempting 6b like actually legitimately attempting 6b because there are the reason, like, that 6B actually ends up being faster is because of the demos. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I might have to go look into that. Alright, so now Evan's on flag three. Getting through here. Did he get the did he get that checkpoint? I'm not sure. I guess he's fine. Matter. Yeah, he's fine. All right, he is closing up shop here. We're going to look to see a little over 3130. That's all right. Clocking in at a 3132 GGs as we get ready to go into the third race here. And it looks like, um, yet again, don't know what his summit time was exactly. But it does look like he actually got a bit of a slower summit time this time around. I mean, of course, like, he, w he you know, this is a slower time than his first race, uh, his first run today, but it's still just the summit alone is just by what time there is in the diary. I think it's like about two seconds fast, uh, slower this time around. All right. So I think we're going <clears> to, <throat> there might be a short break. We're not 100% sure. Don't know um, yet, but yeah. Hi, Evan. Oh, you're not going to say hi to him? Come on, FC. He said hi to you. Seems that FC might have gotten some water. That's fine. All right, so we are patiently waiting here before we get into our final race and again flat has already gotten that bonus point for winning the set here so there's still one more point up for grab um again looking back and looking at the screen here on flat's end um check i mean check, so check. Not pretty good i mean we you know he missed his demo um his checkpoint list demo on his first go but other than that you know a little more deaths here but that, that tends to happen as we get ready for the third and final race.
fast. Am I good now? I mean, I'm ready. Um, I'm here. I am hoping that you guys can hear me. Um, FC was saying I was having mic troubles, apparently. Um, I restarted uh, Discord like twice and my headset, so hopefully that's it. that fixed it. Um, if Pity can just give some like, clarification in the chat, at least, that is working, that'd be great. But yeah, both sides, just saying hi to me. Cool, my mic is working. Thank you, Pity. It's just gonna be me holding down the fort for a little bit, as FC did have a is having a little bit of internet problems. Um, it's fine. Oh, Evans fight actually pulling out a retry. We got a death in prologue. Unfortunately, hate to see it happen. Evans fight, just having a, you know, just still tripping up here. Well, you know, for the derby, just gonna be moving on through. Gonna keep going. Gonna be finding all those opportunities to save those fractions of a second. And Evans fight taking another death here. Mr. Panda, thank you for the 8 bits. Ah, gonna be finishing it out. That is a 102. Very nice time. And Evans Fight gonna be finishing out with a 110 on this chapter. A 145 filed. Yeah, I fly basically a full 10 seconds ahead. Just out of chapter 1. Oh, good save there by Flat. Actually, yeah, he did not hit the ground at any point there, so he had to go back and regain his dash. And was able to do that very quickly, not having to, you know, getting no chance for the battle line to catch up to him. Meanwhile, Evans Fight also moving through here. Both of them in the uh, battle line chase sequence. Taking a quick death from Ev uh, Evans Fight here. Just a smaller screen on. There's no scrolling here, so it is smaller. It is capable of you just getting a quick death and moving on. Uh, is it a possibility that FC is here? I'm back. He is here, okay. Sorry about that, you guys. Had a little bit of a internet hang up on my end, but I am back into action here. I'm gonna blame Mother Nature for that. It's been a little cold, a little snowy where I'm at. Yeah, you know, that, that, that polar vortex creeping in. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it <laughs> to be quite honest with yeah you. meanwhile flat is just pulling out some good times he got a 102 uh city oh wow 
It is actually looking pretty good too. I, yeah, um, it's not not the best chapter two, but it's definitely a very good one. Getting a f 247, uh, 147, excuse me. Yeah, 324 on the file timer. Oh, Evans ran into a little bit of hangups here in that spring room. Yeah, Evans fight has definitely had some trouble here in these first two chapters, causing a few deaths. He had a death in prologue even, and it's just... It, it kind of set up like a bad omen for the rest of the run so far. Unfo unfortunately, but hopefully he can definitely bounce. He can bounce back from it. Like, you know, all speedrunners at this level can definitely, um, you know, clear the head from a death, uh, from deaths like that, and are able to just keep going and actually make the uh, turn the run around. All right, so. Evans just getting into resort as Flad getting through that key room. Oh, I mean, face to face with that dust money there. And again, Flad's r resort has overall been very, very clean. Um, second race had some hangups with Demo, and I believe in the last screen, Oshiro. But other than that, like I said, those things are bound to happen. Um, I'm in anticipating a phenomenal time here from flat screen right going for like i mean we keep saying like i keep getting surprised by corner boost after corner boost but it's like that, that yeah the corner boosts are really where it matters like there's so many places for them to happen in these in this run now and it's still just a a trick that has not been implemented on a lot of screens yet like it still definitely could like be something that you could put in just a little screen just kind of like a little bit of like just putting a little bit of pepper on your food just like sprinkle it in there yeah, speaking of sprinkling in, we I just noticed that on Flad's uh, huge mess, he actually started doing some diagonal dashes there. Also, no retries, thankfully. So he's looking pretty good while actually getting into this crate at 143. Oh my god, that is crazy. <laughs> like, that is absolute crazy time there. He is zooming through, getting into books now, too. going for that ultra strat getting that there again like books i feel like just had a recent makeover on strats just to optimize everything it's crazy because this is one of those sections that like nobody really everybody just kind of did the same thing and now it's like oh we got you know there's these little See, extra he's just sprinkled in a corner boost there too like there's just casually yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i'm just gonna casually throw a corner boost into my run it's yeah. fine oh, oh missed damn i missed no. that one <laughs> That no, one that we know good. of. That corner yeah, that boost we good, know though. exists. Because like it could have been very easy to let muscle memory take over, and that would have guaranteed a death. So, uh, again, just yep. that presence of mind. Yeah, you, know, you just be, you know, just being Salt Bay over here. Just like, let's put a corner boost <laughs> over there. She's just make that into a meme and just throw in different snapshots of like Madeline doing corner boosts instead of salt. Absolutely. All right, yeah, now the wall bounces. Go. Yep, setting up for the demo dash, and I expect Flad to go checkpointless. He is yeah. been trying for it. I think he's gonna get it too. He's, he should be good. Look at that. I was so scared. I thought you commentated cursing. I thought you did a commentator curse there. I thought you had caused something. <laughs> I was like, why are you saying, why are you saying anything right now? <laughs> so the funny thing about that too, is that like, I went in with full confidence. I was like, yeah, this is fine. Like usually I'll, I'll get a little hesitant. Okay. I'll be like, oh wait, why did I say that? But for, you know, I don't know. I just, I can feel, I can feel it from Flat's scream. I was like, mm, he's going to get this. It's fine. And Evans fight getting set up too. I wonder what he's gonna go for. Uh, he's going for checkpoint. He's playing it safe. And he's gonna get it first try too. Nice. So now flat just a few screens away before getting out of resort here. I remember that screen in particular. I was like, how am I supposed to do this? There's nowhere for me to land. <laughs> I don't know if I can get all these dash crystals. What do I do? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. on. <laughs> Wait a minute. He sprinkled in some more corner boosts in there. 
not only that, he has a seven forty one going into resort. Like, um, going it going into hello? uh or going to bridge. bridge. Sorry, bridge. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, the chat is a minute behind of of what we're seeing, but she's getting it so right. Flad is too good. I mean, there is a reason why he is. Yeah, yeah, that that screen head. right there, getting the corner boost on that screen. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> oh, that that strats golden but it's just hard it's hard and again it's like if you mess like if you get it you save so much time but if you mess it up then you're like oh what i do do i give flad the king of corner boost title is this what is this what's gonna happen folks yeah he he's i mean i'm just gonna call him salt bay over here and that, that's <laughs> <funny for> him. <laughs> I don't need to give him. I don't even. I don't need to give him a royalty. Salt Bay is good enough for him. Like he, that is def. Salt Bay's royalty. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm looking at Ultras. Flads. Okay, I'm looking. Flad is oh! ahead of his PB. Oh shit! I mean, so. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, oh FC! Oh my. God. Commentator curse. That means Cardinal you're a bad sin senior. right there. I know, right there. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I'm sorry. I got too caught up in it. Yeah, I, I understand. You know? Flat has been playing so well, and you're just on his side so much, and you just, you know, you see it. You see such a death like that, and you just, yeah, it, it can take you off guard. So I understand. <laughs> Pull me out of character. I didn't want it. Not there. It's okay. We got Evan's fight over here as well. Still fighting it through on the ridge. Seeing Flad playing around a little bit, doing some uh, neutral jumps and whatnot on uh, waiting for his auto scroller there. Meanwhile, yeah, we, we got Ed a lot. I, I gotta give some shout outs to Ezra here in the chat, who is literally calculating to the hunt a thousandth of a second here. He's calculating to the frame the file timer difference at the end of each chapter. I know, so. that is, yeah. <laughs> Mad props, dude, that is very impressive. Considering how bad I am with my sense of time. <sighs> oh no, Snowball this room, this room is such a pain in the butt. I know what word you wanted to say and I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it, it's infuriating, it can be. But he's gonna get out of that. Right, so he's getting to the last portion here. Wait, no, no. Wait, what? That is a record for the for Golden Ridge on the on the leagues. What was it? Two thirty-five. I missed it completely. Sorry, sorry, I just wanted to double check. And yeah, that was at 235, and the record for on, on the leagues was a 237. So So, you know, we got we got some crazy stuff happening for Vlad right now. Yeah, and he's already going into 5A. If he gets a 108 tape grab, I'm gonna have to just like walk away <laughs> like 109 109 is unheard of and I, when right. I first seen it, i was like i didn't even know that was the thing and like now oh my gosh he's i feel like you know i keep saying that he's taking the brakes off the car and it's just going all out and i'm like getting the you're yeet running, you're running out of parts on the car i feel like he's just like now in just like the, the seat just cruising along oh my gosh yeah, this is, this is so insane. clean. Yeah, this is insane right now. Getting all his ground hypers, that room, cleaning that room. Oh my gosh, let's go, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be close. I am, yeah, I'm looking very closely at that. 
No, it's, it's still a 109. 109. Still 109. 109. I don't think that. Yeah, that like, can we yeah. get better than a 109? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't know either. I don't know if that's possible. That, is, and that, that looked like a like someone, 109. Like someone just pull out the task run of that of that chapter, please. Like I need to know. Is it is one better than a 109 even possible by task? Like I need to know because oh, no. it looks so tight. There are maybe some corner boosts that are possible in there that Flad didn't land, but like that that was such a good chapter from like it's. He's playing cleanly. I don't. I don't see where he could be making up that second. And yep, okay. first try on the buff drop. I had to. I. I had. I didn't. I. I took a vow of silence through the beginning of five B, since my commentator curse already came out once. I was like, let me just. Let me just. Let me Respectable. Just Respectable. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even talk about whether or not he was gonna land it. I just, you know, was talking about other things and then said he landed it when he landed it. Yeah, I didn't. It, it's gotten to the point now where I, I don't even want to talk. <laughs> I, I, like, I totally understand that. <laughs> Alright, well, so Flat is moving through Evans' fight now, starting up his five B as well. Yeah, and this is like this is so a strong outing on Flat Derby. And actually, let me double check the schedule real quick because I think we got something coming up. I think next week is the Flad versus TGH happening soon. Oh, are we going back for it? He's doing that strat again. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I was like that. that was it looked like the setup was about to happen again. Like he went for it. <laughs> I was not, yeah, I made sure to keep away from my water bottle <laughs> for that moment. Um, yeah, no, next week, um, we have uh, Flitterby versus Nero. That That's hot, so, too. Yeah, that's going to be it. You're going to want to mar mark that on your calendar, so that's going to be a hot Yeah, take. Nero just recently got a, a 28 time. He, he actually is, uh, I, I mean, I don't know if it was a 28, rather. I think, but either way, I know he has taken third place. Yeah, and he actually, uh, it's funny that you say that. Yeah, he's got 2836. So yeah, he took yeah, third place from the sushi. He got that, he got that in, um, I think he got that in the race that we commentated. And I was just like casually talking about how he got like a 2836 and you're like, uh, that's PV, bro. And I had no clue about it. <laughs> yeah. So no, definitely. And I think that's going to be. Like both Nero and Flad, I feel. Oh no, Evans having a little hang up here. Uh, I feel like when they're going against, like, I guess like when the stakes are high is probably the best way to put it. They come out to play. I've seen it from Nero versus TGH in the any percent. We've seen it from Flad versus TGH in many uh, encounters that they've had. So the fact that both of them are really going to push, like that, I I can't even say what what could happen because we could see all kinds of time drop and just like shenanigans and everything else so yeah don't think for a second that just because tgh um was uh, able to break um the world record and it was his own world record that we are done with the fight between flat and tgh um on world record oh yeah times. definitely it is it is not done flat and have, and we, i mean okay. i would say he's out of out for blood but like you know this community is too friendly to say that <laughs> but if if we weren't He'd be out for blood. <laughs> we could probably come up with a, a less aggressive term for that. Yeah. He's 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 here. He's here to play. We'll probably just go. Yeah, that, that, that's really what it is. Yeah, like, and again, that's one of the best things about the Celeste community too. As uh, both runners now in reflection, and you know, if I've, I've said this time and time again, this is where like we're race three in reflection. Uh, this is where we kind of taper off into a little bit of uh, other topics still keeping it fit to the race but i wanted to bring up that um it's one of the, the most amazing things about the community is that like every single person is really supportive and really pushing all of us to get better i mean it's one of the the, the coolest things about the community and what the community and one of the things i really like the most about it there's like no there's no cutthroatness from anybody everybody wants to see everybody improve everybody's right there to help out as best as they can so especially like when like i said with nero and Fladerby coming up next week that's just gonna be i'm gonna have to make sure to like 
hydrate myself prior to because I'm not trying to like get caught up and start screaming and all this other stuff because it might happen. I mean, it's fine. We got such a hype uh, run coming out from Flad once again. It's still going so crazy. Yeah. Like I mean, Evan, Evan has been ha has been putting up a fight, but Flad is just not giving it any sort of chance. Yeah, like every it's like every little bit, Flad is just like again he's just pulling out all the stops. Like there there's no brakes on his car right now. There's not even doors. He's just kind of coasting. And yeah, yeah, they fell off to to how fast. You know, like yeah. the, the 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 inertia from the doors was just like uh, um we're gonna go. I, I, we can't handle this right now. It's, it's just... Bye. Right, flag getting that battle and boost there. Yeah, it's like every corner boost is just like taking another like uh, nut and bolt off the car, <laughs> just bit by bit. So we're just you know you know Flad's on a unicycle at this point. Like mm -hmm. that's all that we got left. And like Evan's still playing fantastic too. He's getting through this reflection pretty well. But Flad already in battle in. I mean, we're going to want to look at that time when he gets out of here. Um, it's kind of hard to say, but, you know, if he's on that sub, if he can get out of here at sub 20. It is looking like that, like, too. Oof. I mean, I don't want to yeah, say it's... too much, but it definitely has that chance, has that potential. And even then, you know, like we said, um, I think Flad, you said Flad's IL for, oh, a little hang up here. Nice backup. Yeah, somewhere in the uh, 801. For some, yeah, so he still has a little bit of cushion there too. That strat, oh, oh. And adding the extra, yeah, the extra spice with the reverse hyper. Oh my yeah, god, yeah, that was even I'm faster than the typical feather skip screen. Yeah, because usually uh, people will wait until they can dash, but Flat actually gets on that platform behind him, does a reverse hyper into an ultra, and then just corner adds, yeah, there. putting that hot sauce on there. Oh my gosh, sprinkle another corner boost. And another. What is this? Oh man, it's so it's so dope. And I think that it, I think you know I believe that is like the next quote unquote evolution of the run, like implementing more corner boosts in here. And flat is like our front runner for that. Using that spring lineup there, getting ready for round two. Evan By the way, for anyone here who's just trying to find them as well, um, it's very easy to find them actually. If you just see the little bit of like puff of smoke coming off of the top of the corner that's most likely a corner boost <laughs> if he just like goes flying and there's like a little puff of smoke from the corner yeah and also too just like not losing your momentum at all in fact he had one in uh there a couple screens back that's a lot of fun Qu corner boost is like one of the the one of the greatest uh unintentional features added to the game yeah, so I can't was... remember what, like they added something, they changed something in one of the patches, and that's where corner boost came about, and it was just like, oh, this is actually pretty nice, and um, people have been using it, uh, a lot. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty close to his sub twenty. He's gonna have to just hit this, and he's ooh, oh no 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> Why? Just, get, just yeah, just get the dash Why? back. Oh. That was. I'm I take sorry. full. I take full blame. Good. Full, I take. Full <laughs> I need some blame in this moment right now. <laughs> that is my fault, folks. I apologize. I will find you, FC. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it's fine. Yeah, it. That was he. Uh, it was gonna be looking to be a sub twenty, sub twenty there, but. Just having a little hang up on that room. Yeah, he's kind of looking. Yeah, he was. He. I don't know if he has his splits open right now, but he wanted to look at his at the chapter times right there. Cause, yeah, I'm not sure if he has the splits open right now. So that for reference or not. So he just kind of went like looked at it and just see wh what's going on here. Need a little looking glass. Now oh, he is in summit, and his summit has been absolutely insane. I'm gonna call it now. He's gonna get that auto scroll to skip skip first try. I'm calling that right now. If if you do this to me, I <laughs> two months from now, like I know we're both going to pace. Two months from now, 
like you're just gonna wait until that moment and just yeah like, it's your fault yeah I, I, it, it's on it, it will be on my to-do list like go to pace you know like drive to maryland yell yell at fc like it's it'll be like right there <laughs> like, Going again for that corner boost. This is I, I don't understand why like I want to yep there it is. Okay. I was like I want to see that actually in in process. I want to see a successful landing of that. And then he goes for it again. And so shows me exactly how to do it. <laughs> yeah, you know, giving us those secret ingredients right now. Yeah, he's about to get out of 500 here. As Evan is making his way through the base portion. There's a few screens here. Wow, okay. Coming out the blocks like a demon on that first screen of 1000, Flad. Yo, what are you doing? That was really fast. Dream Hypers after Dream Hyper after Dream Hyper. Like that's what I love about 1,000 meters. Really, it is a, like it is a section where we can do Dream Hypers like no other because we have our two dashes now. Mm -hmm. Evans unfortunately did not get on top of that zipper block and was forced to retry that room. It was early on, but still, you know, every retry is a one and a half second loss. Sorry, I started yawning for no reason. <laughs> My bad. You're getting tired at this? You are you bored? FC? No, FC, I'm you... no, I'm far from bored. Um, I'm in uh, in the process of trying to change my sleeping schedule, and so um, I was actually anticipating to get a nice eight hours of sleep and still be up in time to commentate. Uh, that turned into four, and it's not yeah, good. Yeah, you need to get back together. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take a nap. I'm like, I gotta, I just gotta tough through this one. It was like, I, I woke up and I didn't hear any alarms, so I immediately panicked. I was like, oh no, I slept through everything. And I was like, please don't be past 12 o'clock, which is what time the race was uh, for me and my time zone. I looked at my clock and it said it was like 7.43. And I was just like, well, I put myself into a panic state and I'm wide awake now. So I have to just, I just have to live with it and deal with it. Fun. But we got flat over here, entering 2,000 meters. It is 23, 20, uh, 26 right now, on the uh, on the entrance of that. Some nice demo dashes there from Flat uh, to just kind of speed along in that room. Yeah, we're seeing in chat that people are mentioning that Flad uh, can definitely get a twenty-seven. That is definitely true. It's it's not an it's not an if, it's a win. Yeah, do not sleep on this man. Look at that. See, Troy, why you gotta doubt me? Look at that. He got that first you try, know, like I said. Listen. You know, okay. Fine. Now you get a hug when I get there. There we go. I will not push it because I don't know if I want to get yelled at. <laughs> so <laughs> leave it at that. But no, it's just again, it's 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 that confidence feeling. It's just like I don't know, I'm like, okay, this is actually, you know, not to get too off tangent, but like, I think that some people have, have been in a couple streams where like Teach has gotten world record and I would like just kind of throw bits at him and be like, oh yeah, you know, preemptive congratulations on your new world record, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's like the next run that he did, he would actually get that world record. <laughs> like it's happened like two or three times that I've done it. So, I, I mean, there's definitely been the cases for, uh, in, at least for TGH where, um, his, his streaming schedule is not like it does not gel with my schedule so yeah. usually what ends up happening is he'll start streaming he'll start doing runs and then it'll be like I'll, I'll watch a little bit maybe like one or two runs and then i'll be like uh i'm going to sleep now good luck and then that will be the one and i'm like yeah <laughs> no i i hear you on that yeah flat oh my god flat 2500 is so crisp man he it's like every screen is so fast even like some of the longer ones i'm like how are you getting through this so quickly like minus here like see this is another screen where i'm like can we demo past that because i'm trying to see that because i want to do it 
and thread the needle is not a problem. Nice ultra getting set up for door skip, and there's that demo door skip I'm talking yeah, again, about. Yeah, get the demo dashes. Both Ooh. tries there. Both times had demo dashes. Just barreling through this section here. I like this wall bounce too. And then also, oh my gosh, he's actually dashing off of that uh, dash block. Usually runners will just kind of like wait and then use the momentum to throw themselves forward. Flat is like, that's not fast enough. I need to go faster. So he's actually dashing up forward into battle in and saving even more time. That is crazy. 2552 entrance on the final three, on the final 30 flags. He might, is he gonna get into 28? At, he's getting into 28 at sub six. Oh my God. That is crazy. And the consistency too, cause he was at 601 twice and now he is at 559 so i don't know folks this is be this is going to be a firecracker of a finish absolutely and i know flat is feeling it because he is playing so focused right now like just in general the composure and i have mm -hmm. to say like it is so crazy to see this both to today and yesterday as well having it where the you know like we were saying like oh game three is starting where to be where you get uh, where the players are getting fatigued but it seems that the players now are getting used to this idea are getting oh, yeah. used to the um are getting used to having to do three runs in a, and as i say things death on 17 and another one on 17 but that one was a bit quicker but it's still just like such a case of like yeah sure i'll do three runs in a row it's fine three you know, it's like definitely, top of yeah. my runs in a row we're definitely seeing like the mental fortitude strengthening among every runner as we get into these third uh races too and evan's still on he's doing pretty good here blaring through as he gets ready to start his downdraft portion here flat about halfway through on updraft oh a little hang up there he's doing all right downdraft is I don't downdraft is fun to me. I think a lot of people don't like it because of the idea of the wind pushing down on you, but like the design is so well done. I find updraft fun. <laughs> I don't like updraft. <laughs> I'm, I'm the complete. Opposite. I mean, like, yeah, I, I, I hear that a lot. I, you know, no one really likes updraft that much. Um, but that unfortunate that that flag 17 death might have killed the PB right there. Unfortunately. Yeah, because he's about to hit 20 and 11 here. Still, that's nothing to shake at. This is a phenomenal performance here. This still, it's like, could be, he could get sub 28, 30 here. It's going to be, oh, no, it's going to be really close, but. No, no, that, now. That, that doesn't seem possible. Evans now on 14, coming into 13. Look at this flag. Look at this flag one movement. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's my fault. <laughs> I'm like, look at this movement, and then it just didn't work out, unfortunately. But like, like I said, flag one has been optimized so much, just like recently. It's almost like a completely different route. And there we go. Flag clocking in at a 28:46. He's going to take the third game. Evans fight not too far behind. Still in the. He's on flag nine. He had hangups in race two. Not an issue this time. All right, we'll see if we can get some interview time here really quickly. Because, again, we have other races that are coming up. So, folks, don't go anywhere. We've got all mm. kinds of action coming up. Wait, was that his... That... I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Because I am very confused. Because that's his 838. I remember what the previous two things said for summit on the previous two rounds it's at 822 824 and now 838 i'm i'm confused diary are you lying to me like yeah i don't know it's hard to say i mean like looking at this really more um mishaps in summit um but speaking of summit evans on the home stretch here Clocking in again at a sub 31 pace, 3039. Nicely done. All right, we'll see if we can get um, 
Evans in on the interview or not. But again, we have another race coming up. Uh, it is. Uh, a... That was like two seconds away from his PB. Oh, man. See, there I go again, casually just talking about the times. <laughs> I need to work on it. Yeah, that's really close. Solid run from Evans. Like closing that out, getting those times up there. Yeah, I was like, wait a sec. I, I just went to look and I was like, that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he's really 30, 37. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good at the casual. Just like, yeah, just like, was, yeah, you know, you know PB pace, it's fine. You know, that's just, I can see it in the league. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, you got like a twenty seven fifty three. It's fine, you know, whatever. You're gonna get on the next race, and then like, you're gonna be sitting here just like voice gone, screaming <laughs> like the whole nine yards. I'm like, what do you mean? It's just you know, it's like, man. Um, <laughs> by the way. Got some, I, I just want to point out that, you know, we got some, I mean, we got Salt Bay here going on, and I want to just point out, you know, we're, we're adding salt to soup over here because in the Portuguese version, the journal says Progresso. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so I believe we're going to get Evans in on the call for an interview here in just one moment. Uh, Flat is here as well. He says Mike's not going to be... Uh, it's not working too well. It's going to be very quick here. So, um, hi. How's it going, Evans? Not bad. How about you? Doing well. Doing well. Uh, good job here. Thank you. Saw Got that back. last run very close to PB after being pointed out by Troy. I was like, oblivious. Surprisingly, I actually had no idea how good that run was. Like, I was like, I went into like halfway through Summit, like, run is garbage. And I'm just like, wait, it's a 30. Like, in the last five flags. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I think that happens to all of us. We're just kind of like, oh, this starting's really not that great. And then you get to a point where you check the time, and I'm like, oh, wait, actually, I'm on PB pace right now. And then it's yeah. like, oh, I should probably finish I mean, storm. honestly... I, I just had a good reflection, but... Yeah, it had to be something to do with, like, your early game being, like, the first couple chapters yeah. being <laughs> I died so unstable that, that it just probably gave you just, like, a really annoying mindset the rest of the run. You were just like, oh, there's no way this is a PB. And oh. we're getting a little preview of the next thing. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, keep going. Uh, I don't know. It's just like even everything. I can get over that. It's happened to me a million times before. Uh, and then like the first two chapters were just bad as they have been like all day today, I guess, for some reason. It's whatever. No big deal. But then like Resort was bad. Uh, Ridge was bad. Temple was OK. And I'm like, and at that point, I'm like, man, this run sucks. And then, like, I just pulled a 551 reflection out of nowhere. Uh, and then I still thought the run sucked because 551 reflection isn't, like, that great. But then it, it was a 3040 in the end, I guess. So it's weird how it works out like that sometimes. All right. Well, yeah, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this one up. And again, we've got a 70 star division one. Yes, race coming up right after this, folks. So be sure to tune in and um, GG's to all the runners. We'll see you next time.